Hello Rosebuds, welcome back to the final part of my family vacation this summer with my family where we are now going to look at our time in the Dominican Republic and Turks and Caicos. And let me tell you something, things got a little fishy. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but there was a storm that kept chasing us. So as you can see now, there's the water there, the moon is up in the sky, you know, I think it was like a full moon or something. But anyway, we had a bunch of storms and there were people on the deck trying to see what was going on. And guys, let me tell you something, it was super scary trying to do a braid out on the deck while watching the lightning strike. Cause I was like, mm -mm, I got a metal brush out here. We do not have time for this. But that was the deck, that is what it looked like. As you can see, there was a few brave souls out there. Um, but other than that, everyone was just watching the storm and getting ready for the excursion the next day. As you can see, we were approaching the next day and it was still a little foggy and gray. I completely forgot that I washed the clothes and I wanted them to air dry the night before, but now they have gotten wet again because of the storm. Good thing I'm just wearing these clothes to get directly in the water so it won't be a little, it won't be weird, you know, to see if my outfit is already wet when I'm leaving the boat. Luckily it was hot so I didn't have to worry about being cold and having wet clothes on. So we had a time where we can leave the boat but we had to wait for our specific time and look who pulled up, another carnival boat. And we were all trying to say hi, you know, my mom and I were all like, hello, how are you, heidi ho. You know, all of that good stuff. Of course, you don't see anybody waving back. They're just looking at us like we're like insane. I was like, are those statues or are those real people? But anyway, I thought it was really, really cool because we got to see another carnival boat and other people who are also going to enjoy the Dominican Republic. And I think, oh, okay, I remember this boat. This is the Carnival Magic. All right, so yeah, I think, yeah, they have, they have the one with the basketball court and stuff. We started our morning off with some kale and beet smoothie or something like that. And when we got to Dominican Republic, they had these cute little figurines. I loved them. They were so cute. Everything was very festive and it felt like one big party. So remember that episode on Victorious, only certain people gonna notice, but remember on Victorious when they showed the kids getting their feet eaten or nibbled on by those little fish? Where well, I found them, and guess what I did? Yes, I dipped my feet on in this tank, and I let all those fish, now I heard that they don't bite you, they're not biting you. So what I was feeling was not teeth. They just were, um, hmm, how can I say this? Um, oh, 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 okay. They were gently sucking in the dead skin. But, oh God, it was ticklish. I couldn't take it. It felt like somebody was tickling my toes with feathers. I could not stand it. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. So this feels crazy. <laughs> Now I know why you're freaking out because of my feet. We also saw this beautiful waterfall, which my dad took a video of as we made our way to the pool area. Now, it was very, 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 very crowded when we got here. And finding a spot was, oh my gosh, it was so hard to do. Um, but we wound up, you know, looking around to see what we can get. We were scoping out the bars and then also look at me. So then also I'm like, I found a spot. So then we've made our way towards the back of the pool area where we finally found a spot and a few umbrellas. Yep, y'all heard that right. There was a coco party, coco party. My dad and I ordered some drinks and it was time to get turned in Dominican Republic. Shimmy girl. 
Thanks for the motivation, Mom. And for our last stop, we are making our way to Grand Turk, where we ate at the tasty, most scrump dilly -icious place called The Beached Whale. And it was amazing. Now, before we did that, I went to visit this whale over here, which is like a statue of something, and it looks creepy with the eyes. And as you can see, the tail is very detailed, and I like it. And we encountered some strange birds that were pretty cool. And then we sat down and had a lovely meal that consisted of conch jerk chicken, um, plantains, and like, of course, you gotta wash it down with something. So we had this wonderful drink. I forgot what it was called, but it was so delicious. As the day ended, we were so happy to get on the boat, enjoy some live music, and some lovely dinner. The rest of the time on the boat, we just ate, went to the pool, went to sleep, and did it over until it was time to leave the ship. Overall, this was a very interesting and very unique experience that I had with Carnival, but most of all, I enjoyed seeing the islands. And I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also comment about any experiences that you've had with Carnival Cruises or any cruises in general. My name is Amy Rose. Enjoy the rest of these photos from the family vacation, and I will see you next time.